Hi everyone, today I'm in Przemysl in southeastern Poland, about 10 kilometers from the Ukrainian border and not so far from the Slovakian border either. And today I will ride the longest train journey in Poland. The train is running from Przemysl to Świnoujście, going through many major cities in Poland, such as Rzeszów, Kraków, Katowice, Gliwice, Opole, Wrocław, Zielona Góra and Szczecin. The whole journey will take around 15 hours and 36 minutes and we will travel for about 1000 kilometers. It is actually my first time in this part of Poland, on the eastern side of the country. I've never really wanted to come here before because there were no tram system, no metro system to come uh, record for the channel. And also it was very far, so you know, it's not like I could come here in a weekend and be able to see everything. I had to plan everything carefully. But you know what? Today I decided it's time to ride the longest train journey in Poland. And that's why I'm here today. I'm now in front of Przemysl Główny Station, the station where I'll be taking my train tonight. And let's just take a look at how beautiful this building is, which was built in the 1860s and renovated afterwards during the time when Poland was, at least this part of Poland was part of Austria-Hungary. It was a time when Poland was divided between uh, Prussia, Russia and Austria-Hungary. And this is why this building has such a different architecture compared to other station buildings in Poland. Unfortunately, Przemysl got quite a reputation uh, recently because of the war happening in Ukraine and uh, for being the main gateway for people entering uh, Poland by train uh, from Lviv. It's one of the two or three uh, cities where it's possible to enter uh, Poland by train from Ukraine and because of the massive amount of people coming to the station the main hall is now hosting most of the people because there's so many people coming compared to the hosting capacities of the city and even the region and that so many people have no place to stay and have to stay inside of the main hall of the station. Okay, so the train finally arrived. It's making a lot of noise, so I hope you can hear me correctly. So behind me is this 09 locomotive that will uh, hold or train for a good part of the trip. I think that it uh, will uh, change at some point, but here it is. So our carriage will be located at the end of the train because the train is uh, splitting in two. Uh, at some station because this first part is going to Ustka and it's not the, the same direction uh, so I will need now to find the carriage going, going to Shinushche and I think it's at the end of the train okay so here we are you can see Przemysl Główny the departing station in Shinushche the last station and you can see all the station will be calling at here is the, the bar carriage, the restaurant carriage. And now I need to find my carriage. Should be a, a dark blue one. Because the dark blue one are the one with the, the beds. And this one are the one with the seat. Some of them are open uh, open carriage with a seat facing like this. And some other uh, are equipped with a compartment. What I have to say now is that this train is actually quite long for now. Uh, it's rare to have like this long train, but it makes sense because you know it's literally crossing the whole country, and uh, it will be split at some point. Okay, so here is the blue carriage, dark blue carriage that I was talking to you about. The one with the beds, you can see here. And I have to find the number thirty. Okay, so 
so I'm now alone in this twin compartment made for six people so I'm enjoying the time I have alone here because I think because of the first station of course not many people are uh, inside the train yet but they will you know keep getting on as we're driving so I will show you around so it's not big there is not many space in it as you can see uh, it's a six beds compartment here is my bed and from the window you can see Przemysz Główny and we are now ready to start this 15 hour 36 uh, journey to Sinuście aboard the longest train journey in Poland for 160 zł which is roughly 40 euros 45 euros something around this you can have such a bed Okay, so it's now uh, 6.42, like we're supposed to leave in one minute, exactly. Goodbye, Przemysz. See you later. Okay, so now we've just departed. I'm still alone in my train compartment. I have no idea until when someone can enter literally anytime. So I will just show you the cool features that I've just noticed of this sleeping car. So, one bed, two bed, and three beds. Uh, everything seems like it's uh, a normal carriage that has been kind of converted into this uh, sleeping compartment because you can still hear I'm not sure you're seeing very well because it's quite dark in here but it's obvious that it this used to be seats so I don't know if this kind of carriage can be like reverted into normal kind of carriage or if it's like forever this kind of sleeping car so every bed is equipped with one small pillow uh, one blanket and uh, the bed sheets you are also given some antibacterial hand wipe and uh, you have this ladder with you if you want to get to the upper beds. If you are the lucky one and you get the uh, bottom uh, beds, you also get a place to plug your uh, phone or your laptop, whatever you have. And that's the only two beds only, and that's the only two bottom beds to have this uh, plugs because the other one don't also here you have the option to change the temperature uh, look at the time and uh, adjust the lights even though it's very complicated like it's uh, a real puzzle I still didn't get how it works properly like when you type on some button like you would assume that this button is just just means like turn off all the lights but there is still this kind of light and if you push here it's switch it all so you know it's just like uh, weird but you know you can make it work it's actually uh, one of my longest track journey by far uh, I haven't done uh, that many peak journey uh, I've done once in China, which was, I won't remember exactly, like 15 hours from Shenzhen to Shanghai. That was very long, but for sure I've never done this long, like, apart from that I usually do like 5 to 6 hours, and that's, that's it. So this could actually be the longest train journey I actually ever have done in my entire life. It's been already about 15 minutes that the train is running. With, we're going through many uh, open fields. It's quite dark, so it's hard to see even for like bare eyes uh, with the camera. There's like not much. At the beginning of this journey, we should be stopping at a lot of stations that I've actually never heard about 
uh, mostly small towns in this eastern part of Poland where there's not many people living and also the train network is less developed here than compared to the western part so the intercity trains also stop at all the stations because it's basically one of the only trains that come here one will be uh, crossing into the western part let's say the only stop that we'll be doing will be major city like such as Katowice, Gliwice, Wrocław or as here you know it's Jaroslav and some other small town that I've really never heard about before And here we are, Yaroslav Station. I actually did some research to see if there was anything uh, interesting in Yaroslav and I've discovered that this was actually uh, a place where many battles took place during the World War II between the Germans and the Russians and we're now leaving Yaroslav and we are now slowly arriving into the second station about 40 minutes after starting this journey the station is called Przeworsk little tour of the of the train uh, for you to see the different uh, carriages that they are there are this uh, there is open kind of carriages like quite regular that you will see in most trains in most countries there was also this compartment kind of car it's very common in Poland and most of the time people actually prefer this compared to the open one just because, I don't know, it's more uh, convivial. And we've now arrived in our third station on this journey, Weinstut. And now we are slowly arriving Rzeszów Główne Station Rzeszów is the biggest city in southeastern Poland and the capital of the uh, Wojewody, which is like the province, the region You can see Rzeszów Główne So it's the capital of Podkarpacie And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite famous all around Poland The city developed itself uh, after the Second World War with a lot of industries, uh, metal industries and uh, textile as well, especially during the communist era. And uh, yeah, even nowadays it's still a very respected city all around Poland.
uh, for this is open, which is around 10 euros for a uh, So I got some Jurek, which is a, a Polish traditional soup, kind of sour. Some people don't like it, but uh, I do. Beer and uh, some pierogi that will come right after. station by a line that I didn't actually know was still used for uh, passengers uh, service. I didn't know it was actually once used for passenger service to be honest. We are going through Nova Huta which is the industrial district of Kharkov. Uh, there's a lot of factories there like a huge I will show you on my phone. Alright so this is where we are and this is all the factory we are going around this is supposed to be here but because it's dark like there's absolutely nothing we can see Orbital road around Kraków. <laughs> and here we are, Kraków Główne, the first major city that we are going in, which is actually the second biggest city in Poland. Kraków is a really interesting city that if you have the occasion to visit one day is great. It used to be the capital of Poland like a really long time ago. So let's have a look at our train. Here it is. So the train pulled into the station in this direction but we are now going into this direction. So there will be a new locomotive that will come on this side and attach itself just right here and then we will go into this direction toward the west so remember I told you that we had an EP09 at the beginning and the EP09 is now gone for an EP07 the most common locomotive in Poland Boom, now it's attached. Okay, let's give it uh, before the train leaves again. <laughs> 
So here it is. Our very nice local. Okay, now it's time to hop on again before the train leaves without us. Okay, so guys, it will be the end for today. Uh, the train is now quite packed. A lot of people get on at Kraków uh, Ufne station. So people will be going to sleep now because it's already 10. So I don't want to disturb them. And uh, there's not much to see anyway because it's night. So I wish you a good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone from the side of the S3 motorway uh, from Szczecin to Świnoujście with past Szczecin this morning when I woke up after a long 10 hour sleep and we are now on our last stretch of the entire journey the last two hours that will bring us to the northwestern city of Świnoujście Here it seems like we're going through a station that is being built on the outskirts of Golenyov, which is the next station that we're going to stop at. And here's the station of Golenyov, the first station of this morning. Also, I noticed that at some point during the night that we changed the local once again because because this side is the local that I showed you uh, attaching at Krakow Gruvne. Now we're going in the other direction. So I don't know. We probably still have a, an EP07, maybe even the same. You know, that just uh, uh, changed the side but we change the direct direction of the train at some point. And here's the station. Wysoka Kamienska. in Nianzezdoroje, which is uh, the last station before arriving to Świnoujście. The last stretch before arriving to Świnoujście. We are already in Świnoujście because we just passed a station called Świnoujście Przetur so it's just a matter of time before pulling into the main station of Świnoujście Here is a, one more Świnoujście station which is called Warszów, Świnoujście Warszów Here we are, Świnoujście, 
after 15 hours and uh, around 36 minutes, we finally arrived. Uwaga, szanowni państwo, przeciwdziałając dezinformacji i w trosce o wasze bezpieczeństwo. We finally arrived in Shinushia Station. So the train was not late, but even more, it arrived uh, before the scheduled arrival time, which was uh, 10.19, and it arrived at 10.16. So first we have to take a ferry to join the mainland of Shinushia because Shinushia is separated between the mainland that is uh, on the Polish side and the uh, other part which is on the German side and you have no way to cross it uh, by the road without either taking a ferry or going to Germany. Germany, whereas uh, 16 hours ago I was on the border with Ukraine and I'm now walking on the border between Poland, which is on this side, and Germany, which is on this side. And here you can see the separation between Germany and Poland. This person is actually standing in two countries at the same time. Here is Germany. So according to the sign, I'm now standing in Germany. And a couple meters away there is Poland. And I'm now crossing the border. And this is Poland. And here is what I wanted to show you. The only German station on Polish territory. This station is operated by UBB or UBB, which is a German railway operator. And the line in Germany used to end at the Polish-German border, which is just a few kilometers uh, in this direction. But at some point, they decided to extend the line inside the Polish territory to allow Polish people to go to Germany and the German people to come to Świnoujście. And the line is actually ending at this station, which means you cannot go further than this. So you only have the option to go to Germany to the station. It's really interesting to see that even if the station is in Poland, uh, it uses the features of the German station for example with this white safety line and if you look closely you can see that the track number is written in german gleis It is, it's a DMU, as you can see, there is no, uh, no electrical lines. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy this trip with me along the longest train journey in Poland, from Przemysz to Świnoujście. It's now time to sign off. If you like this new concept, 
don't hesitate to tell it in the comments down below leave a like and subscribe for new videos i'm now wishing you a great day great evening great night and see you soon for another video